everyone and welcome back to the It's Good Talk podcast. So as you can see, it is just me again and as I said I was going to do, I am working through all of the Sidemen, reacting to their more emotional moments and just what's behind those laughs. And today we are going to have a look at Simon Minter, better known as Mini Minter. So let's get into it. Hate. It has caused a lot of problems in the world but has not solved oh, one yet. Uh... It's, it's, it's life, it's, it's, it's a box that I live in. But now, yeah, I just record during the day, stream at night because I can't go outside and film Sidemen videos this, 24 seven. This is during lockdown. It's, it's not fun. I can't wait for this to be over so I can choose to sit in my own flat instead of being forced to sit in my own flat. So I think that's definitely something that's reflected by a lot of people um, during lockdown. And I think it's something that people didn't even pick up on because, you know, there's always the attack of like, oh, young people nowadays just want to be playing games or whatever like that. But, you know, he has friends, which are the other side men he wanted to be with. And you could tell from that that he was not in a good place. Like, um, especially during lockdown, he was not good. You know, that kind of, it's life. It's the kind of, because I think we, we kind of, we brush over people that have money and fame and everything and say, oh, well, they're going to be fine. But obviously, there's still basic human needs that everyone is kind of in need of and wants. Uh, Simon as well, as a member of the Sidemen, always seems to get glossed over as someone that's um, not necessarily going through things. It, it's uh, He seems to be the person that's just, he'll smile and just let it fly on in the background a lot. Julian, do you think you'll quit YouTube in the next five years? The Sidemen are still going? No. Uh, but who knows? Damn, that's... Who knows? I still enjoy doing YouTube. That was said, yeah. No. It's not as much Honestly, fun Honestly, no, at the start, obviously, it wasn't a job, so it was pure hobby. Now it's a hobby and job. Yeah, but that's, also, I mean, that's fair. it's more just like the time of YouTube, like the, the type of content that you have to make now compared to before. Like, he liked just being himself. Time ago, it would literally just be like, all right, cool. Let's just go like, ah, oh, JJ, you free today? Let's just do something fun. <laughs> do your parents hate the side and why? Oh, oh, I remember why? this. Yeah. Oh. Simon. Yeah, so I mean, this bit um, has been played back and forth. Uh, obviously, there was a, an issue because I think um, JJ had other friends beforehand and um, that may have been trying to use whatever. I, I think there was just concern from his parents, but that did seem to hit Simon quite a bit there. But also, you can tell from the other bits that Simon just feels like the fun of YouTube is gone. And I know there's going to be people that go, oh, well, if you want to make money, you know, I mean, it's not all about fun, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like all of him wants to be there anymore in that element. And when that's become your life, that's become who you are. And he said many, many times he really dislikes his name as Mini Minter. He doesn't like being called that. But because he created it once, it's now kind of who he is online. It is sad to see that somebody who is in that space is kind of lost in that space. Like a, a singer that can't avoid having to get back on stage every day. It's, it is very sad to see. Yeah, I think this may have been the first time Simon actually knew about this. Wow, Simon. Simon after he finds out JJ's parents hate him. I'm not gonna lie. That did get me a little bit, a little, a little tear. Yeah, at the time. Even if they don't like me, I mean, I have no problem with them. They're lovely people. And you know, we're both celebrating JJ's win at the end of the day. Yeah. I feel like the comments are going to be mean to someone here. We love you, Simon. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I think they're all I got my goals, quite surprised you know, when there's love. 10 mil on my main channel, 10 mil on the Sidemen channel, and then I guess that's, that's my goals to be honest. I don't know if I want to do YouTube for that much longer. There's that famous phrase that's like, die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Something like that. And I feel like it's just like the amount everyone hates everyone online already. It's just like, I yeah. don't want to be a part of it. Simon and Ethan do don't get, get, get a lot of hate. I do enjoy making videos. There are a few people, obviously, who, who say nice things, but they just get 
crowded out by the hate. How do you deal with hate That's online? True. I'm like 60, 40. Some days it gets to me a lot. In my head, I'm like, I just can't understand people. Then the cyber video came. So that's, I know I'm, I'm kind of coming back onto it there, but that is kind of, it is something that he, he gets hit with a lot. That him and Ethan especially get hit with this just, just hate constantly from just saying stuff that's normal. It's not like he's saying anything that's controversial or harsh or anything like that. It's just from being him, just not wanting to be hit by a ball as a, as a punishment of the game or just something that's normal. But it's just hate. It's hate for him wanting to have a life, for him wanting to be a person. And that's so sad to see that that's something that supposed fans are attacking him for when all he's trying to do is just be the person he's always been. Out. And it was a bit like eye opening. You know what I mean? I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it. But yeah. Um it didn't it didn't exactly go down well. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So much hate. For no reason. So then uh, me and JJ yesterday had like I'd say like a four hour talk like we were just talk we, we started at like 1am finished at like 5 and yeah I don't know I just feel a lot better today JJ just kind of like talked me into feeling better and it's nice that so you, he it has friends like that. I, I mean I wasn't something that all of them have they, they are real friends of, he just kind of came in and talked and then it ended up just JJ's yeah, definitely learned a lot from having therapy I and appreciate it. it's good that they I'm have that friendship. <laughs> There's oh, so I much hate him. he gets. What though, age just... will you be when you stop living together? Damn. Um, I think it's probably next year. Will I die for JJ or Talia? Both of them, yes. There's a bit where it just becomes like a mental battle. Ah, I lose those. <laughs> you hear this under pressure. every now and again. I do. Yeah, you do. I'm sorry, I can't ring that. The just gold goes back. So that goes back to the point I've made before: is that I think people kind of forget that he has those pressures and those self doubts and self loathing at times because there's always a smile. And even Toby there, who's probably one of one of, if not the most emotionally intelligent of the side men. Going, you, know, you haven't got pressure. Like you're, you're okay, because I think Simon masks it so so well. <laughs> <laughs> Love, bro. I appreciate you so much, man. I'm guessing. <laughs> Again, the love between all of them, the love, they, the genuine love they have between each other is so amazing to see. When I get back, I'm very, very emotional. No one's ever shot to me like this. Yeah, Simon with the big ones, yeah. <laughs> when we're like 70, the only way people will remember us is if you actually go like, do you remember the side men that yeah, they used to post these videos on YouTube? And they'll go, oh yeah. <laughs> it is so nice to see the kind of genuine friendship because I think sometimes people forget that these are just a bunch of guys that either grew up together, went they to school to, together, right? you know, and met online, you know. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, they've done it. They've done it, right? They have 100% done it. War, war zone. <laughs> Let's go! Have you bet money on them? Because you seem way too into it. No, I just want them to. Just a friend. I swear, this the this, and again, this goes into the hate people get online for stuff like this. Is he's excited for a friend achieving something, and so oh no, it must be about money. It must be about something. it's just a friend that's achieved something. But there's always an assumption. There's always a well. This must mean this must. It's just a friend that's done well. I think we forget, especially about people online. You know, you've seen it on things like Doctor Phil and things like that. Or the guy, 
that uh, wouldn't talk to his mother because she didn't have as many followers as him. And it's just, it's sad that for some people in society, there's no real connection there. And they forget that connection is needed. You gotta have, you gotta have one like you gotta have one real real song, you know. You gotta have one real 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 song. And he'll understand the points that made. People will walk away from the album being like, I didn't learn anything. Then it's like that that was that was yeah. That is a banger that song though. Why? Like you I remember this point, I, yeah. I'm not I'm not trying to say why like oh like what Please, please, please. There's, there's streamers out there that genuinely go other streamers. Other stream. If you're gonna do it, please, other streamers. I, you've given me way more than you should have. Yeah. None. This, this is a point he made quite a lot, and and obviously there's more to it. But I remember this. I was still a Twitch streamer at the time this happened. I was still a streamer, and um, I remember it happening. And he was just telling people, "Don't give to me. I, I have money. I don't. I don't need it. I'm. I'm good." And I think, especially for things like Twitch, where for a lot of people it is all about money, 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 and um, that always put me off Twitch a little bit um, about donations and things like that. It's so nice, and it's so genuine to see someone like um, Simon, who obviously knows his his um, advantages and everything, just going, you know, I'm glad you're here. Great, I'm glad you like my my stuff, but there's other people out there. There's other people doing this. You know, go and, go and bless someone else, and I. It's so nice seeing that because I think we see quite fake versions of it a lot where people are just going to go, oh no, it's okay, and then keep giving me money. But this was very different, and it's it's so nice to see. And I think Simon is very underrated with things like this because there's a lot more care there than I think people want to give him. And he always takes a lot of the hate when we don't really see him do anything but support his friends as we've seen on this he does nothing but try and help his um viewers and it's a very strange place the online scape when being like that and being a friend results in hate because there's supposedly something below all that it's quite sad no 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 no, no please, like I, I, this is the genuine plea there are other streamers out there deserve way more than me. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he's actually getting distraught by the fact someone's happening. giving him money. I actually 100% swear, like swear, I actually will give it to M7E. And while I'm here, have you got any YouTube no, no, M7E is an education Honestly, charity. do what you want. Like, whatever you actually enjoy doing, just do that. Because, basically, say, say you do, your channel does blow up and you do really well. If you're not doing what you're happy doing, it's not sustainable. Like, look at Ethan. Ethan wasn't happy doing what he did, and he eventually, like, had to stop. Yes. Now he's doing what he loves, and he can do that effortlessly. And everyone loves it, because you can see that he loves it. So, I've known JJ since, like, year seven, and when I knew him, he was only making videos for, like, chemistry class. He was doing raps in, uh, in chemistry. So, there was no, you know, there wasn't even any social gain out of it. He was literally just trying to get a B. But now, yeah, now it's insane. <laughs> now it's insane seeing this many people watching him box. Like, what he's come from at school. There's a lot of love there. Because being, obviously, anyone doesn't know, they were friends inverted. at school. Like, they were literally oh, yeah. at school I together. I say nerd, but character. <laughs> now it's, yeah, now it's insane to see. Everyone who said I wouldn't make it, my friend got us a private jet. What are you saying? To the JJ! <laughs> <laughs> So much love from that because it was just you know, unexpected when that happened, and there's friends together. It's great to see. Friendships, and I think this is something, this is why Simon have been so successful, is people enjoy seeing friendships, no matter what they do. Which is why hide and seeks do so well.
That's like the proper... That's the troops and more there. So there's a, a little bit more um, about Simon there. Uh, I apologise for some of the um, quality images there. I'm literally looking at it from someone's video. And of course, the original video, do go and look at it, is down below in the description. Um, and so I, I can't control the quality of that. And I know I... I, my little box moved side to side there a couple of times, but I wanted you to be able to see Simon because it was him that we we're talking about. But I think, again, he's very much a... One of the sidemen that gets attacked a lot. Between him and Ethan, I think they are the most kind of attacked for hate so much. And whether that's because people think that he can take it, whether they genuinely just like him for no apparent reason, I'm unsure. But... What seems very clear from watching that, as, as highlights, and actually from seeing the Sidemen over these years and watching this um, Mini Minters or Simon's channel, because Simon was the first uh, Sidemen I ever subscribed to. He was the first one I ever saw. I had no idea who KSI was before Simon. Um, there's a genuineness and a want and need, I feel, for friendship and friends from Simon that shows more, much more about who he is and his character than anything else that's going on. And as he said, if the Simon is still going, then I'll be still be going with YouTube. And it does seem like he, he needs that connection. We all do to a point, but it, it feels very much with Simon that friendship is really at the heart of who he is. And I don't think that's something we should attack. It's something we should hold on to. Um, obviously, I'm working through all the Cybermen. Uh, if you go back, you'll see I have reacted to the uh, emotional parts and the best bits from Harry and from Zerk already. This obviously is Simon. I will be doing Ethan, Toby, um, KSI and Vic still as well. So uh, they may not all be from the same series of, of videos because these are the ones I've done. Uh, but I will be reacting to um, moments from all of them and, and just talking about the development of them and more about their mental health because I think it is important that these people talk about it because it is something that needs to be talked about and it's so good that a group so large is so much more open than the majority of even mainstream media. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it and I will see you again next time. Thanks everyone.